The Scottish government's sport and social care minister Marie Todd was criticised for urging her followers to read a Financial Times piece headlined Scotland's economic potential is blocked by a failing UK but did not state this was written by the First Minister. An SNP minister has been mocked as dishonest after sharing a proskexit news article, without mentioning that the author is actually her boss. Sport and Social Care Minister Marie Todd urged her followers to read a Financial Times piece which had the headline Scotland's economic potential is blocked by a failing UK. She wrote, check out this Financial Times headline, telling us what we already know before sharing a link to the opinion column, which was actually penned by Hamza Yusuf. The First Minister claims in the article if Scotland became independent it could boost the rest of the UK's economy. But it was the clandestine way which Ms Todd pointed her followers to the story which was criticised, as she failed to say that it was an opinion piece, or who it was written by. Scottish Tory MSP Jamie Halcrow Johnston wrote, This is, at best, disingenuous and, at worst, dishonest. An SNP minister suggesting it's an FT article not just just another opinion piece written by her boss, Hamza Yusuf. Wonder if he opines about the 17 years of the SNP's economic mismanagement of Scotland? He was joined in his criticism by other social media users. One wrote, This is an opinion piece by the FM, how disingenuous can the SNP stoop? Pathetic. Another added, Why did you omit the author of the article, at Marie Todmsp? A third person said, Now this is special. Look at the headline but for goodness sake don't read the column and definitely try not to notice who wrote it. An uncharitable man would suggest Marie did not. In the article, Mr Yusuf claims that the UK and Scotland are different due to two reasons, with the SNP wanting full control over EU membership and migration. He adds that there is overwhelming opposition to Brexit in Scotland, on migration, Scotland and the UK as a whole are facing very different population challenges. At its simplest, the Scottish Government is keen to see more people coming to Scotland while the contest at Westminster appears to be over cuts to immigration. But there is only small amounts of evidence that this statement is true, with migration opinions similar both sides of the border. He then claims that if Scotland breaks apart from the UK, then the economy might improve. He adds, we face an increasingly stark choice, the continued failure of a Brexit-based UK economy or, if we use our resources and decision-making powers wisely, the opportunity as an independent country to reach the more normal living standards of our peers.